What's going on guys, I'm RumMonkey420 and today we're going to be talking about the new content, Killer Clowns from Outer Space The Game, just released. To start it off, we got a new blog post titled Meet the Clowns, where we get a little more insight on clown abilities and weapons. Every clown is equipped with a ray gun that turns humans into cotton candy cocoons. Each clown also has the clown jump, which allows the aliens to leap to any point on the map that has already been discovered by the clowns. To start it off, we got the tracker Spikey. He can shoot humans with his popcorn bazooka. The popcorn bits stick to the humans and reveal their location on the map to all the other clowns. He can also summon the balloon dog that will point towards the nearest survivor. Spikey also has a fucking invisible car to roll around in. Next is Rudy. Rudy's jawbreaker mace allows the other clowns to see attacked humans through nearby walls. Rudy can sense human traps and has traps of his own. The first is called Baby Clown, an ugly larva looking buddy who springs up and latches to the victim. The other trap is Popcorn Mine with the same effect as Jawbreaker Mace. We got Fatso slash Tank, Chubby. This absolute unit of a clown is slow, but if he catches you, you're mashed potatoes. Chubby's extendable jawbreaker is his only ranged weapon. Rage Rush allows Chubby to charge through enemies while busting through obstacles, also taking less damage from firearms. With a powerful downward strike, the clown summons a carpet of cotton candy that traps anyone within it. This is Jumbo the Scout, the only alien invader that can use the clown leap into unexplored territory. Which for the other clowns, it's covered with fog on the overhead map. Jumbo has the ability to instantly substitute himself with an AI controlled lackey. He can also draw humans closer with hypnotic lure and smash them with a mallet. Last but not least, we got the fighter, Shorty. Shorty can disguise himself as a pizza box and he has a speedy tricycle. Shorty stays keeping them gloves on him and he's here to fight. A little bit ago we got Lackey Week, now in this latest blog post we got Human Week, and we get a little more insight on what the human's objectives are, character customization, and what a microwave does. There are several ways to win the match as a human, one of them is by shooting the clowns in their red glowing nose to remove them from the game for a moment. Then you're going to sneak into the spaceship to take out the power core. You can also flee the town and leave one less player for the clowns to mark off their kill list. Another way would be keeping your teammates and human NPCs alive for the entire match until time runs out. Now we're going to get into character customization, so you can change your character skin tone, body type, and clothes. You can even choose and style your hair according to the options that they give you. Last week, Killer Clowns mentioned that microwaves will be in the game. This blog post explains that. Items can be opened and searched in the game. Microwaves are just one of them, so who knows what you'll find in there. For those of you who remember this iconic cocoon straw scene, Chubby can stick a straw into any cotton candy cocoon, slurp some human intestines, and gain a limited time speed buff. That's the latest on Killer Clowns. Let me know what you guys think about the video. I'm RumMonkey420. Catch you later.